and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on corposcopy. Corposcopy is an outpatient examination of the magnified cervix using a light source. So this picture shows a picture of the corposcope, which is an instrument used for corposcopy. And corposcopy can be used for diagnosis and also treatment of cervical lesions. This is the list of indications to do corposcopy, which includes a suspicious looking cervix, or if there is unexplained postcoital bleeding where there is bleeding after sexual intercourse, a persistent unsatisfactory smear or inflammatory smear on three occasions, three monthly, persistent ascus, which is the atypical squamous cell with undetermined significance, or ascus positive for high risk HPV, or persistent low grade squamous intraepithelial lesions. HSIL is the high grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, which is the CIN2 and 3, or other indications are like squamous cell carcinoma of the cervix, atypical glandular cells, adenocarcinoma, and also those people who are positive for high-risk HPV DMA. This is the procedure of corposcopy. So first, we need to counsel the patient about the indication, the reason why we have to do corposcopy, Explain about the procedure and also some of the risks of corposcopy. Take the written informed consent, place the patient in lithotomy position, and clean and drape the vaginal area. Then we apply water-based lubricant to the speculum and insert the cascor bivalve self-retaining vaginal speculum. Position the corposcope and focus on the cervix and also adjusting the magnification. So with the light source and under magnification, we can start to examine the cervix and document any clinical findings on gross inspection. Next, we apply the first solution, which is the 5% acetic acid, with a large cotton swab, and wait for at least one minute. After applying this 5% acetic acid, we look for any presence of any acetal whitening lesions, and also look for any abnormal vascular pattern, which I will show the pictures later on. Next, we can apply Lugol solution on the cervix, or the acetal widening area. We obtain biopsy samples after identifying the abnormal areas, remove the speculum, and also counsel the patient regarding follow-up. So after explaining about the procedure, what are we supposed to look for during corposcopy? So we are to look for any abnormal areas of the cervix, any vascularity, which is new vessel formation, Patterns which are known to be associated with pre-malignant and malignant lesions of the cervix. And like I said just now, we usually use these two solutions, which are the 5% acetic acid and Lugol's iodine. So for acetic acid, it causes the nuclear protein within the cells to coagulate temporarily. So in areas of high cell turnover, the areas will turn into white color. And this, I will show the picture later on. So, for after putting acetic acid solution, the areas that turn into white are the abnormal areas. Whereas for Lugol's iodine, it stains the areas of the normal cells, which have glycogen. So, the normal cells will become brown in color, whereas those abnormal areas, which are lacking of glycogen, they are not stained, so they will appear as yellow color. So, for these both solutions, acetic acid, the abnormal area will become white color, whereas for Lugol's iodine, the abnormal area will be yellow color. This is a picture showing the acetic acid after putting the acetic acid solution. So it causes the nuclear proteins within the cells to coagulate temporarily. Therefore, those areas, abnormal areas, who have increased cell turnover, for example in cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, CIN, they will appear white during corposcopy which is shown in this picture here. And because cervical intraepithelial neoplasia is a pre-malignant change of the cervix, can cause cervical cancer in long term. So there is process of angiogenesis, which are new blood vessel formations that can be seen through the corposcope. So this is a picture showing angiogenesis, which is the vascularity that we have to look for just now. So that's all for this video. Thank you.